Companies, both large and small, are always looking for ways to make their office facility environment more flexible, shorter term leases, more flexible leases. And companies like WeWork have filled a bit of the gap on this, but Tushel, with Hubble HQ, you're bringing a whole new business model to bear on it. How are you doing it? Hubble HQ is London's largest online marketplace to rent office space. And what we mean by that is kind of like an Expedia or Booking.com sort of website where businesses can go on and they can search for offices across London all of which are on flexible leases. And rather than having to go to a traditional real estate broker or real estate agent, uh, they can actually just go online, find what they want and move straight in. About five years ago, um, about 0.5% of office space was flexible. And now that percentage has gone up to about six to 7%. So that's a pretty, pretty fast increase in the last five to six years. And market analysts are saying that actually uh, 30% of total office space will be flexible by 2030. And the reason why that's happening is because um, people are choosing to have more optionality over, across their real estate portfolio rather than commit to long-term expensive options. It's very similar to, should I buy a house or should I rent an apartment? Right. Well, and I'm sure that things like the pandemic are having an acceleration to the need for companies to have flexible remote work and technology enabling remote work. These are all having an impact. It's really difficult now to justify taking on a 10 to 15 year office lease when you don't know how many employees you're going to have, where they're going to be living and working, and actually what the purpose of the office space will actually be. And so actually there's a huge amount of demand for flexibility on, in terms of how long your lease is, but also how you use that space. Do you use it for uh, meeting clients? Do you use it for collaborating with your colleagues? And you'll be able to book all of that space um, on demand. And that just didn't exist three to four years ago. What kind of benefits is Hubble HQ bringing to all of the independent landlords that are out there that don't have one or two or, or more buildings? Just like Airbnb has brought independent landlords to the forefront of the hotel market, we're doing the same thing with Hubble HQ and we're helping businesses either with a few spare desks um, or larger, larger businesses like, like Telefonica and Barclays uh, rent out entire spaces and even buildings like that were never meant to be offices so um, old churches then you can actually list everything on the Hubble platform within minutes um, and start getting getting inquiries straight away. So if I'm a landlord take me through the process how do I get my property onboarded and what's the process to getting it rented out? The process is super easy um, it can happen fully online or we can concierge you through the whole thing um, what you'll do is that you'll tell us your postcode and give us a bit of information about what your space looks like we can then give you an instant value of how much money you can expect to make on that space. And then once you're happy with that, you can then get everything uploaded. That's photography, that's more information about your space, that's the business model, how you're renting out different elements of those space. Um, and we have people who've got their space let up within five minutes and they've got an inquiry the same day. We basically let um, a new space in London every three hours. And so what we've done is we've brought liquidity and volume to a market which used to be a low volume market. And so now we're starting to see more and more smaller, smaller deals happen, but more and more frequently. How do you think the big brokerage houses, CBRE, the big incumbent players are going to ultimately react to your business model? Well, I think they still have a very good business model because uh, the CBREs, Jones Lang, the sales of the world, um, they are still trusted advisors to the larger corporates. That business is there to stay. Um, what we're trying to do is we're trying to make the medium to smaller end of the market a lot more flexible, but also work in conjunction with them. So Jones Lang, the sales is actually one of our investors. And the way we work with them is that we help provide their clients more and more flexibility in their real estate portfolios.